Welcome to episode 46 of Talking Shirts. I'm Mike from Hull Car Shirts and today I'm going to take a look at Liam Salter's 2015 home shirt. So this 2015 home shirt was one that I just absolutely adored. Did then, do now, probably will forever. The, the red shirt look with that blue band streaks out all the different history and the heritage of Rovers. Obviously, starting out with Kingston Amateurs in 1882. The key seasons, 83-85, which I've covered recently and I will cover again. The 2007 season, the 2015 season. You know, there's some really strong looks of red shirt, blue band. And I'm all for it. So this one, as I've said, was the 2015 home shirt. It was designed and manufactured by Fita. We was with Fita for a few years in 2014, 15 and 2016. They made some really good kits for Rovers. Um, obviously this one, the 2016 home shirt was one that I really, really liked as well. I know there was a little bit of tainting behind that one, as some people may argue with this one, due to a couple of games that happened whilst we was wearing those shirts. Everything on the front of the shirt is sublimated. We've got the sponsors up here, which is IRS. Malcolm Forklifts, the badge, and the clear sky going across the front there. We have got these little gel patches down each side. That's obviously there to aid the player with receiving the ball on their chest. Um, these ones have just the two little patches coming down there, whereas some of them that we've seen do have a much bigger, larger covering space on there. So it be interesting to see how much of a difference those ones there did actually make. So swinging it round to this side here, you will see that we've got the first utility Super League patch. Now, what you will notice under here, and I will put a picture up so you can see a little bit closer, is underneath this there is another patch. Now, that other patch is actually a Ladbrokes Challenge Cup sleeve patch. Now, that was because when Rovers played um, Warrington at Headingley in the semi-final of the Challenge Cup, we actually used our, our general home shirts, but we did have to change the sponsor for the sleeve uh, that game was televised on the BBC and it was important that Ladbrokes got their sponsorship and branding on those shirts for those television fixtures. So this does actually have a Ladbrokes Challenge Cup patch underneath and then it's now got a Super League First Utility patch applied over that and there is likely another one of these First Utility Super League patches underneath the Ladbrokes one. So this does feel quite thick to the touch as if it's been layered on quite a few times. Um, as with shirts in Rugby League, these aren't as throwaway, shall we say, as what some are in, in top flight football, where a player may get one or two shirts per game, and um, sometimes maybe even three or four, and then they maybe get given away to, to sport, uh, sponsors and fans and things. That doesn't happen in rugby. You may be lucky to get two two shirts out the year, three if you're pushing your luck, and that's to last us a few seasons. Uh, sorry, the full season. And, and especially when we consider that rugby league is a much heavier contact spot, you do see quite a lot of game damage to shirts that you wouldn't necessarily if they were used a little bit less often. You can see here a little bit where it's been washed a lot because this, this isn't as white as it once was. You can see that it's got a little bit of discoloration to that there. So again, this is a really good sign that this was worn quite a lot and washed quite a lot throughout that 2015 season. We'll have a little look at this other side. So on this other side, we have got the Kingston Press Cider Sleeve Patch. So this one here, as you can see, it's got quite a lot of wear to it. Sometimes these do get patched over throughout the season. So you maybe end up with a layer of one, two, maybe even three on there. This one probably could have done with a second one at some point. But, you know, it hasn't been reapplied there. That has just got the one that's been on there, probably for the length of the season. And um, that was able to stay on for the Challenge Cup semi-final which is why there wasn't any patching or any information that went over that one for that game. So, spin that round to the back then, and you can now clearly see that this was Liam Salter's shirt, as I explained at the beginning. So, Liam Salter was with Rovers for, for seven seasons, from 2012 all the way through to 2018. Uh, he made 123 appearances for Rovers, and in that time he scored 22 tries. He experienced the highs of a Challenge Cup final, the lows of a 50 mil defeat in a Challenge Cup final, along with relegation and promotion. Uh, Liam went through quite a lot with the club 
and he stuck by us through those very difficult times heading out of the Super League into the Championship and then that promotion season in 2017 he had a really good season and then obviously he was back in the fold for that 2018 Super League season. So back to the shirt as you can see here we've got Salter 18 applied to the back there is a little bit of damage going on to the name here I'll put a picture up so you can have a little bit of a, a closer look obviously Salter was number 18 during that 2015 season there's a little bit of stitching up here which has which started to come undone and you can also see where the GPS tracker is in the back of the shirt and there is actually a, a, a plaster at, stuck to the inside of this GPS tracker and it was they normally used to sort of seal them to keep the tracker in. I will pop a picture up just so you can see that. So again, just a little bit more provenance of a game being, sorry, a shirt being worn in a game on multiple times in this occasion. I have been able to photo match this shirt, as I've said previously, and this was obviously worn against the Warrington Wolves at Headingley in that Challenge Cup semi-final. I'll just pop a picture up here. So now what you'll be able to see is a picture of, of Salter during this, this game. And I've been able to pinpoint all of the contact points between where Salter is. And it does line up with the Archbishop Centre Academy at the top there. Where the number is, where the whole college sponsorship is. Everything lines up. Um, so I would class this as being a good match for identifying that a shirt was worn within a known game. Brilliant. <clears throat> So, 46 episodes in, and it's actually the first time that I've covered the 2015 home shirt. So I've really enjoyed doing this episode today. And I do have a couple of variations of this from the Challenge Cup final. So I'll get round to doing one of those at some point in the future as well. That's everything for episode 46. Uh, when I come back with episode 47 in a couple of weeks' time, I'm going to be back with one of Jason Fisher's shirts. And this time it's going to be the 1983-85 home shirt. This time it's one shirt that was worn during the season opposed to it being worn in the Premiership final like I covered in episode 44. The shirt I'm going to show you has got a lot of damage to it. It was worn quite a lot throughout of the, that, that time frame and it's a lot in a lot different condition to that that I showed you of Phil Hogan's Premiership final shirt in episode 44. So it really does give you that insight of how well worn a shirt could be during that era. Which is really interesting because obviously, as I've just mentioned a, a little a little short while about top flight football having multiple shirts and multiple games. Well, the one that you're going to see next is, uh, yeah, it's one to behold. Thank you very much for checking out Talking Shirts today. See you all again soon. Bye for now.